Tell me about his dogs, because you used to take care of his dogs. Oh yeah, I'd take a uh, humble soccer team. Soccer team was uh, he uh, he was kept in the office mainly. I never I never took him home. He always, he always took him home. But bo bogey, I used to take him to the vet, have a nail clip, bath. One time, one time I took him. We got there, he got off the car, and he wiggled out of his collar and ran across 16th Street. And I took after him like a bat out of hell, without no looking whether the cars come in or not. You know, 16th Street's pretty busy. Right. And I just took off, I said, if he's gonna get hit, I wanna get hit. <laughs> <laughs> and you said, if, you, if he got hit, you weren't going back to no, the restaurant, heck, right? No, no, no way in the world. Right, because those dogs were they pretty were, much they his were, best they were, friend. They were his life. Yeah. You know? When uh, Bogey got sick, I, uh, he called me to the house and says, uh, come and get the dog, take him, take him to the vet. So I said, okay. So I went and got him. I had to help, help him up to get, put him in the car. He's, they, he says, they, they know what you do over there. I said, okay, so put him to sleep. Ah, that was, was sad, because you know, that dog, he get in Duran's car, nobody would get near it. He'd go crazy in that car. Right. Yeah. He, it was his car. Nobody get in. Tell me about the jukebox. You're telling me before you got there, there used yeah. to be inside Durant's. Not a lot of people know this. There used to be a jukebox and a dance floor. Right. I used to be a dance floor and a jukebox in the, in the uh, we call it the cubby hole now. Okay. Which is, uh, uh, as you go into your left, then you turn left again, there's a, a cubby hole there. And people used to go in there playing music and dance and everything else and finally got rid of that thing. His wife always playing rock and uh, Elvis press music. Nothing but Elvis all the time. Oh, he got, I guess he got fed up with Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> got fed up with his wife, too. Got fed up with his wife, got rid of both of them. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else you can tell me about Jack? Any more memories you have about him? Things he did? Oh, yeah, one time he, uh, he, was, at the, he was at the bar drinking. And he come out of the, uh, come into the kitchen, got a, a machete. He said, we call it a meat clipper and run back to the dining room, he's going, was going to hit somebody with it. Oh, wow. <laughs> but a waiter stopped him. <laughs> wow. So, called him off and got the, got the waiter, got the, uh, the customer, threw him out the front door. He said, you better get out of here, don't ever come back. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I heard a lot of people got kicked out of Durant's yeah. back in the day. <laughs> back in the days, yeah, they don't, you know, they didn't misbehave. Yeah, you're out of there. Cool. Thank you, Ernie, for coming out yeah, and talking exactly. to us, sharing mm -hmm. your stories. I yeah, appreciate it. More than welcome.